recently seen in high school at a blood drive. In today's show, we have a story on the blood drive. So right Freshman now, biology projects and a stand-up about the 5K. I'm Carson. And I'm Mike. And you're watching Seaman Viking Television. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Ike, have you ever given blood? No, I haven't, but I did hear that the blood drive was popping recently. Yeah, Aiden and Kyle went to check it out. Recently, seen in high school at a blood drive. We talked to some people to see their progress. So right now we're holding the Community Blood Center blood drive here at Seaman High School. Uh, Seaman, or uh, high schools in general are pretty common place for us to hold blood drives. We get a lot of donors come in, a lot of potential blood units to be collected. And running here, this is actually my second time here, so looking forward to uh, the blood numbers that we collect today. So once a person actually registers, they'll be asked to fill out 44, 45 yes, no questions on our tablets, and they'll be waiting on a historian to go through their questions. And once their questions are all good, we'll have a mini physical for them to fill out or we'll go through. If they do pass the mini physical as well as all their questions, no red flags, then they will be eligible to donate and then that's when they'll be sent to the bed. And from there, a DCT will be taking a look at their veins and we're gonna see how eligible at that point that they will be. Um, I didn't really expect anything. I knew I'd be fine. I did it last year and everything went okay because it's gonna help people and I like helping people and it's good for other people, so why not do it? I feel great, like I feel 100%. The only thing that feels weird is the bandages on my arm right now. They also had t-shirts they were giving away to anyone who had tried or did donate blood. So the shirts we got going on today are actually from The Office, about a character named Dwight, and Bears, Blood, and Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Next time we have a blood drive, make sure to donate. Wow, giving blood seems scary. Yeah, those guys sure are brave. Hey Ike, have you heard of the Freshman Biology Project going on recently? No, I haven't. Let's find out some more about that. Recently, the freshman biology classes have been working on an important project involving food. So the project is about biomolecules and the foods necessary for survival. So the students have chosen a country that has a malnourished or starving population, and they have chosen and designed a food to meet their needs of the people. Students worked in groups and chose one country to create a product for. Uh, this project is about helping people in underdeveloped countries get the nutrition and help malnourished rates decrease. This benefits the people in the community of Zimbabwe. They are like very, like they don't have enough nutrients to help them grow properly. So our product helps them like get the nutrients they need. We went through a lot of research about what countries we need to pick and what rates they have, um, like malnutrition. Uh, I think this project is important because it's a real world application for what we're learning in biology and it's a better understanding of why this matters and why what we're learning applies to the real world situation and scenario because there are currently you know billions of starving people in the world that don't have access to food and the proper nutrients like we do so it's a good opportunity to kind of get outside of our own four walls here. <laughs> This project helps students learn and realize about malnutrition in third world countries and teaches them how to make a product to help solve the problem at the same time. Wow, well, that project seems very interesting. Now, let's get into your announcements. Math Lab will have new hours starting next week. Hours will be from 7 to 7.45 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and 3.10 to 4.15 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. Spirit Club is asking for your fresh ideas for game themes. If you have a good idea, please complete the survey on Schoology at the class of page. The athletic trainer needs their equipment returned this week or next week. Please return the equipment to the athletics training room in the North Gym or the athletics office. Seniors wanting to purchase a copy of your panoramic picture, please return your order form or payment to Miss Varner by tomorrow. Now, let's get into Ike with the sports. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbillies. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th. 
from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Five dollars at the door. Better get a front row seat. When using the restroom, follow these procedures. Report all foul behavior. There's graffiti on the door. Okay, I'll get it. Keep the restroom clean and graffiti free. Use the restroom in a timely manner. Flush the toilet every time. Wash your hands with soap. Be a Viking. Respect the restroom. Seaman strong. Emery went to get some details on the 5K run this week. Let's check it out. Hi Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. Welch and she's going to talk to us about the Fall into Fitness 5K this Saturday. So, what is it? What is the Fall? It is a 5K that anyone in the community can run. Right now we have a whole bunch of little elementary kids coming that are doing the fun run activities. And then we have cross country kids, we have cardio kids, and anybody that wants to be physically active can come and join us. Can people still sign up? Yes, they can. They can sign up Friday after school between 3.30 and 6.30 or Saturday morning, 7.15 to 8 before the race starts. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Come on out and join us. Right now we have about 320-some people that are interested in their own personal health, and it's going to have a great day. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Welch. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to sign up tomorrow after school if you're interested. Come out and cheer on your Seaman cheerleading team as they compete this weekend at Washburn Rule. Doors open at 10 and their first performance is at 11.30. The entrance fee is $5 or a 5 item donation to Harvesters. To those students interested in trying out for the basketball team this year, there will be an informational meeting during activity period today. Boys interested in trying out will meet with Coach Cox in the West Commons and girls will meet Coach Tinsley in the Freshman Commons. For any students interested in trying out for the bowling teams this year, there will be an informational meeting during Cal today in room 907. See Coach Benoit or Coach Anderson if you have any questions. That's all we have for sports. Let's see what Joshua has to say about the weather. Happy Thursday. What a difference it has been. We reached 68 degrees yesterday afternoon, but this morning, 55 degrees colder is how it felt with a wind chill of 13 degrees for three consecutive hours. So a very strong cold front raced through Northeast Kansas yesterday afternoon into the early evening, and that has left us much, much colder. Take a look, our high temperature today, only about 38 degrees, and then we fall back down into the low to mid 20s for tomorrow morning. The good news is that the wind lets up, so the wind chill won't be a whole lot lower than that, but still some very cold conditions continuing through the rest of today and into tomorrow morning. The good news is that a quick warm up is on the way. Tomorrow highs in the mid to upper 40s and then Saturday 66 degrees with mostly sunny skies It is going to be a great start to the weekend. A cold front arrives sometime during the day Sunday, and that means while our high will be 55, temperatures will be falling through the late afternoon and evening hours very quickly. And then check this out. For Monday, we have that day off, 32 degrees. We will likely not make it above freezing. Some much colder weather is on the way as we start next week. And there is a slight chance of a little bit of rain possibly changing to snow Sunday night into Monday morning. Still a lot of uncertainty with this potential, but again, a light rain snow mix is possible at this point, and we cannot completely rule out some minor snowfall accumulations, not looking at any significant travel impacts from this system Sunday night 
into Monday. Here's the seven day forecast. You can see that quick warm up to start the weekend, 66 by Saturday, double nickel Sunday, but falling temperatures throughout the afternoon. And then that very cold weather really settles in Monday and Tuesday, highs trapped below freezing at best. Don't forget you can get your latest forecast anytime by going to SemanNews.com and clicking on the weather tab or SemanNews.com slash category slash weather. Now, I can Carson, back to you. That's all for today, Vikes. But one more thing, make sure you like and subscribe to SVTV. See you later.